What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we are joined by Sheepy Shep. Alright guys. And uh, we've got a nice hybrid silver team for you, it's a cross between a Dutch and a Premier League one. The reason yes. we made this is because I wanted to try Donk, Shep wanted to try Inform Lafondre and we just kind of went and just made this team I guess. Inform we have got Pat, I don't know, it's in goal. Pat, it, in yeah. goal. Why, what did I say? I said Inform, Inform didn't I? This is Pat, he's got a four star weak foot for a keeper, you, you can put him under pressure and he can... Uh, he can uh, handle that well. He's got 82 diving, which is really good for a silver player. Uh, 73 reflexes. He was just he was just a, a decent keeper, I think. He was yeah, just he made right. the occasional mistake. But then it was our last game we played was against Long Pog FC, and there was pogging it from 90 yards every time, flying in top corner for whatever reason. And he was pulling out some yeah, spectacular saves. Yeah, he was, he saves. was pulling out some really good saves, to be honest. Move on to the central centre-back. And as I said before, we have actually got Donk. So that is nine chem straight away with the goalkeeper and Ryan Donk. What a player! I've already said for as long as for as long as I've used him, is quite easily one of the best centre backs on the game. Even though he's silver, I go. He's definitely the best Dutch centre back ever. Oh yeah, easily on FIFA. <laughs> he's better than Heitinger. Better than Vla. I don't really know many other. Bullaroos is better than Bullaroos. He's, he's he's really good player. He's quality. definitely the best best Dutch centre back, and I would stick him in a few more squads quite easily. Like it, he could fit in with Golds. He can fit in with Golds well, yeah. But the thing is, he's from the Belgium league, so that's the only problem. You've got to have Dutch players surrounding him. And speaking of which, we have got the second Dutch centre back, and it is Ding's dad. He plays for Sion. Sion, yeah, in um, Swedish. No, Switzerland. Yeah, sorry, Switzerland league. It's it's hard because I don't know what league that is. I swear that's Switzerland, Sion. We'll have to, we'll have to, I'll, I'll crush you with that. But basically, this guy's a, actually quite a good player. We saw him just on the off chance on Foothead. We saw that he had 72 pace as well as a 75 defending and 77 heading. And they're the three main stats for your centre backs anyway, so we thought we'd give it a go. And he was actually, I was quite impressed by him. He I was really enjoyed using him, yeah. Nobody got, nobody pace sawed him. Same with this guy, we've got the first English one, Baptiste from. Blackpool. Blackpool and he's actually quite good he's again really fast look at that 77 pace this is a very pacey defence 71 defending 74 heading he didn't get beaten much usually you get pace hard but we didn't get pace hard at all with this team nah I can't actually think of one time where I got pissed off because of pace hard but no. it was fine nah he's a really good defence to be fair we're going to move on to the first central defensive midfielder and we have got Gardner from Aston Villa and this guy was actually quite good we managed to get a goal with him his main stat is his shooting. I don't know why we've got him in defence, the defensive midfield role, because it's only 59. But he worked out really well there. It's like when... Did you ever see when Air Japes put Oscar at set defensive mid yeah. and he, he had the pace to intercept the passes? That's basically what Gardner was doing. He's got really good long shots as well. I think that's yeah. why he's shooting so high. He's got really good shot power and long shots. Yeah, he's a really good guy to have there. Going to move on to the Dutch one. You've already seen it. It's Duarte. He plays for Heracles. And um, this guy was quite good. He's got four star skill moves, but I didn't really use them to full like to the full like like what I could have. You Potential, don't, that's the way. You don't use the uh, skill moves much. Well, I don't anyway. In central defensive mid, no. he's trying to pass the ball and tackle. I, he did go up the pitch quite a lot because I got this guy mixed up with the left midfielder as well quite a lot. Like I used to think this guy was playing left mid because he was up and down the pitch yeah. quite a lot. He must have high attacking work rate. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the left mid now, and it is Depe. Plays for PSV in the Eredivisie and he's pace, pace, pace. Look at that, 86 pace, 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. Yeah, I was quite impressed with this guy. He reminded me of the other winger on the opposite side, to be honest a bit. Because yeah. he was just pace, pace, pace. Yeah, all he is. He's a quality player, good weak foot, good uh, skill moves, yeah. good all-rounder. The, the only thing is, the, the passing on that looks really bad. I don't know if crossing falls in with passing or not. We didn't do many we crosses We never noticed with this an team. issue with it, though. Yeah I, yeah, I didn't really notice many. I, I don't know how many assists we got in it. It's a shame that it doesn't record assists. But it was a bit pricey, but I think Dutch silver players are quite pricey in general. Yeah. It's like Brazilian silvers as well. Brasilvers, as you like to. Brasilvers, that's my name for him. And then we have got Zaha on the right hand side. Wilfred Zaha, the future Manchester United boy. And uh, he was quite good, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he basically, as soon as I got the ball, sprint down the line, do a, do a few like Ronaldo chops in and out, and then just pog it in the cross. So, some, I, I noticed someone called that the change possession chop the other day, and I quite liked it. I don't know who it was. If you're watching this and you called it that, then kudos to you, because I thought it was quite funny. Cause every time I do a Ronaldo chop, I, it does change possession. I always lose a ball. So, Wilfred Zaha was a good, solid player. Maybe you could get maybe some alternatives for a little bit cheaper. For example, um, is it Makanov? 
No, McCleary. It's McCleary for Reading. Yeah. I love that player. I've used him before on a silver team and he's such a tank. Centre attacking mid, we've got Fabian Delph. He's a really good player. I enjoy Oh, there was one goal that I could have nearly pulled off. It would have been like goal of the season. Chipped it over to him and he volleyed it with his left foot, being left footed obviously, and it just hit the post. It was going to be such a good goal. But overall, this player was really good. He's quite a good, solid overall player. You could play him defensively or attacking, I reckon. He's better than he is in real life. Them stats are really good for a silver player. Yeah. Seven is and an 80. But in real life, he's actually dog shit, so it's surprising, really. <laughs> All the Aston Villa fans that oh, kind of. And it, no, to be fair, get... I in, I wanted to get Gardner because I thought I really like Gardner. Mm, okay. I played him with my career mode, and he's a quality player. There we go. We got the first striker, and obviously it is a big spend. It is Miyuka, five star weak foot. Look at that, five goals in six games. Miyuka is a tank. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's just... in a machine until he got sent off in the last game. Oh, yeah, good. I got angry and just fucking snapped someone from behind and got a red card. You just can't, you can't hold back sometimes. You've got to do it. His shooting is so much better than 67. Yeah. He's, he's got such a fucking rifle on him, guys. If you haven't tried him out, at least try him out once because I might actually keep him for gold squads in the future. And, of course, we've got him Formula Fondry, like we mentioned at the beginning. And... Unfortunately, we only scored two goals with him. The thing is, we played against gold teams yeah, with this team. And we, this first game was a silver team, and we scored two with him. And I was thinking, yes, I finally found like someone who's proper decent at heading and stuff. Because he, he's actually got quite a good jump on him. It's just when it comes up against gold players, they kind of like grab him and like don't let him jump for yeah. the ball. He got bullied an awful lot, and his pace isn't the best as well, so you can't do through balls with him. No, but his finishing's not. It don't. It feels much higher than seventy-one. Yeah, he's, he's just such a poacher. His finishing was good. He is like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer yeah. of the Reading world. He it, just. He is a clinical like finisher, and he's just always in the right positions at the right time. It's just a shame that we didn't get any more goals of him. I think. Yeah, but it, we, the, the basically he would have got much more goal, many more goals if he was playing against silver teams. Yeah. But, but yeah, playing against gold, you can't really do much when you're playing against like David Luiz and players like Vincent that. Vincent Company. Yeah, Santana. that's a great one. But as you can see, we get 99 chem. You can't see because the manager's there. We'll remove him. There's a 99 chem. It's a brilliant team. You guys should try it out if you've got a spare bit of coins lying around. Thank you very much. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Dos for Daniel.